Hi, this is Beata from Split Coat Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create the swing or flip-flop card. The stamps used in the sample are from Flourishes Peaches and Cherry set, and the paper is from October Afternoon, my current favorite. To begin with, you'll need a five and a half by six and three quarter inch piece of cardstock and a paper cutter with a scoring tool. You line up your um, paper at two and three quarters and you score from zero to one and a quarter. I like to go backwards, it's easier. And from four and a quarter to five and a half. Move your cardstock over to the four inch mark and repeat. Score from one and a quarter, a zero to one and a quarter, and from four and a quarter to five and a half. Now move your cardstock back to one and a quarter and take your cutting blade and cut from one and a quarter to four and a quarter. Move, move your cardstock over to the five and, a inch, five and a half inch mark and cut again from four, four and a quarter, uh, from one and a quarter to four and a quarter. Now you flip your cardstock over, line it up with one and a quarter and cut from the first cutting cut mark, it's a four and a, uh, one and a quarter to two and three quarter, which is your first scoring mark. Move your cutting blade up to the four inch mark, which is your second score line, and then cut to the five and an inch, five and a half inch, which is your second cut line. Then move your cardstock over to the four and a quarter inch mark, and again cut from one and a quarter to two and three quarters, and then from four to five and a half. Now your swing card base is done. You just fold your first score line down and your second score line up. It's ready to decorate and all you do, if you want, you can stamp on it or you can cut your cardstock. I cut mine, um, the, the width is one and a quarter and I cut mine one and an eighth. So an eighth inch shorter than um, my pieces. And then you will need two pieces to go in the center, the front and the back. And the center measures three by four and a quarter. So cut your layers a little bit smaller. And pay attention when you tape on the front and the back. When your um, card is open, put the back on the front because when you fold it up, the front will show which is when you fold it out, the front is in the back. That's the only tricky part of this card. I hope you try it out and have fun with it. See you next time.